It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Monday, the 18th of January. I'm James Spann. The weather quiet, dry today, but a few showers might show up tomorrow. We look for a much better coverage of rain later this week by Thursday and Friday. There's the upper air look this morning. Got a dry west to northwest flow aloft. It should be a pretty nice day today. We're starting off the day at or below freezing in most spots. Birmingham at 32, Pell City 27, Sylacauga 26. Highs today should be in the low to mid 50s, right at seasonal averages for mid January. There's the watch warning map across the country. Pretty quiet. Got some winter weather issues in scattered pockets, but no major storm systems around. And obviously, no severe thunderstorms today or anytime soon. This is the precipitation for the next seven days, valid through Monday morning of next week. And uh, weather turning wet down here across the Deep South later this week. This is suggesting rain amounts between one and two inches for much of the state. The bulk of that will be falling on Thursday and Friday, as you'll see. So let's go through the modeling here. This is the GFS, the 06E run at 3 o'clock today. Trough off the upper Atlantic coast, a dry westerly flow aloft. And again, lots of sunshine today with low to mid 50s. Now, tomorrow, a weak front will be drifting in here, and there could be just enough moisture for a few showers. This is the high-res NAM at 3 o'clock, showing a few showers around over the northern half of the state. Probably nothing widespread, uh, but a few spots might see some light rain tomorrow. Otherwise, uh, uh, the sky becoming cloudy with highs in the middle 50s. This is Wednesday. We're dry, upper 50s, a mixture of clouds and sunshine. And then Thursday, we go wet as a surface boundary lingers and deeper moisture moves in from the south, and a series of waves will likely move along the front. Uh, no severe weather, probably no thunder. Highs, upper 50s, maybe touching 60. And Friday, the same setup. Stall front, maybe a wave or two moving along the front. Rain likely at times. And this is suggesting the northern quarter of the state might go dry. Not totally convinced of that. So the weather looking wet on Thursday and Friday, and then Saturday the rain is gone. Should be a fairly nice day. Uh, we start the day around freezing, the high in the mid-50s. Again, just what you expect this time of the year based on averages. But then on Sunday, we got a surface low that's moving up into Iowa. It'll be a big winter storm for parts of Minnesota and the Great Lakes if this verifies. Maybe some icing around Chicago. Uh, but down here, this is suggesting moisture increases, and we could see a few showers back in here as early as Sunday. And again, highs upper 50s. And this is a week from today, Monday the 25th, troughing off to the west. And again, that looks fairly wet with a stall front just north of here. Uh, so uh, late this week, uh, looking pretty wet. And then again, maybe Sunday and Monday. Let's go out 10 days. This is Wednesday of next week, the 27th. Big trough in the west, ridge over the Gulf of Mexico. And that looks very quiet. All right, this is the snow output for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. That's not very encouraging for snow fans. Out of the... 50 ensemble members, just nothing, basically. A couple of members show a few flakes late this month. But this is valid between now and the 1st of February. And this is the same model for Birmingham concerning rain. The mean between 2 and 3 inches. But look at the model spread. You've got some members at 1 inch, some members almost 9 inches. So that's expressing a lot of uncertainty out there. But this certainly looks like we'll see our fair share of rain over the latter half of the month. Temperatures, very ordinary, routine, between now and the 28th. Most days, highs in the 50s. Most mornings, lows in the 30s and 40s. And the CPC outlook for January 25th through the 31st. Temperatures at or maybe just a little below average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.